Near and far, young and old, people of all age, shape, ability, and genders, welcome to a land of life and story. With me today are my three wonderful co-hosts, played by Fred Walnut, the joyful paladin, Gleason Coppercoin. Hey, what up? Played by Mike Sincora, the draconic battlemaster, Saudrak Ornsnod. What is going on? And played by Tom Sincora, our courageous sailing barbarian, Dragon Estoft. Hello. All right. Um, so you've been going through the last couple of days after getting back from the moon. Um, we've sort of hand waved it as like you're just like living your life around town, bonding with your son. Um, are you still say staying at the darkened glass, or have you moved to a different inn now that you're like on your own? What were the accommodations like at the darkened glass? Kind of dodgy, but like not uncomfortable. Our room is also full of traps. It's oh true. right, we it's did far set safer the whole for thing us, up. and we just sleep on a it's far. Pile. It's yeah, far safer gonna, for us here. Gonna, we like put it. We invested in this room. We're gonna stay here. <laughs> All right, we've made improvements. <laughs> I think we should buy this property, you guys. I think we, we made really some here. alterations. High security in in life. I think it's. I think it's the new the new thing. <laughs> Are you getting hum hunted by one of the courts? <laughs> stay in our inn. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um. So I need a volunteer. Who wakes up first? Saudrak, every morning for all you love wrestling. Okay. So you wake up uh, before dawn, um, and you aren't, like, you, you haven't really, like, gone through your opening, like, statement or whatever. You haven't, like, figured out your day. But uh, as you're waking up, your first thing that you realize is that sun is not in the pile. Fucking lose it, dude. These guys are, if these guys aren't whoa, awake whoa, 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 in, like, a whoa, half whoa. a second... Okay, so you get about half of a, ah, or whatever, out before you realize that he is at the window. Oh, thank God. Okay. <laughs> son, son, what do you see? Um, yes. It's snowing. It's no oh, boy. Wait, is it? I go to the window and look at, I want to I wanna spend this tender moment with our son, watching the, the snow fall and the sun rise. Yeah. So, in the moonlight, you see the big fluffy flakes are just, like, dancing around outside, and uh, Sun is playing with uh, a set of interlocking metal rings. Yes, what is this? What have you got there, what boy? What the fuck? <laughs> oh, it's a toy. Uncle Mask gave it to me. Mm -hmm. Uncle, Uncle Mask. Mask. Oh, that's... <laughs> This is the that character did not go the direction I thought he would. Honestly, this is <laughs> the best case um, scenario. Honestly, <laughs> yeah. Oh, this is this turned out quite well for us. All right. So, is it like a puzzle? Can I get a closer look at it? It looks like it might be, but if it is, you see no way to solve it. Oh, it's just like two interlocking rings. It's... No, no, it's like nine interlocking rings. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> it's just what is? Okay, yeah, yeah. So it's a chain. Yeah, more or less. It's sort, of, sort of like more like a cluster, and you do notice that like as uh, Sun is like touching certain bits of it together, the rings do like pass through one another, and you're not really sure if that's like actually magic or just like oh yeah, you know that's where the little like slip points yeah, right, are. Right. Yeah. All right. So I get I get Sun some oil, and I teach him some some jujitsu positions. <laughs> what a wholesome father son activity in the morning. <laughs> Um, so yeah, make, you, make the boy strong. You like, all enough, enough to, of this. Uh, enough of this snow gazing, boy. It's time. <laughs> it's time. <laughs> also, learn the ways uh, of combat. Can we make it so that since Dragon started tearing down the wall into the next room, we just <laughs> ended up making it into a a double wide room? Yeah, we've yeah, got like a sure. we've got a we've got a judo mat in the other room. <laughs> We, we like need the space. Little, we've got a whole little thing set up. Yeah, we need the space. So it's it's been a couple days. Are you is this pretty much your like home base for the moment? Yeah, we're renting yeah. out both the rooms. Uh, we've got like regular meals coming up. We've, nice. we've got the whole thing locked down. Cool. Okay. Neat. We know where all the traps are. Right. All right. Um. So eventually you wake up. Dragon probably does his morning yar. And <laughs> probably. And at once uh, Gleason's dressed, uh, Sun is going to run up over to you and go, um, wait, fuck, which one's which? I'm Gleason. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, 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 sorry. <laughs> he has a name for each of you. Oh, that's adorable. Precious young lad. One of you's 
I think your dad and Dragon's father and Saudrak is pops. Yeah, that's Oh right. my god. <laughs> that's that's the best part. <laughs> what a precious young lad. Okay, what so... A... Every new development with this child <laughs> fills my heart with joy. <laughs> and he's like, Dad? And tugs on your pants. Yes, boy! Can we go sledding? <laughs> Fuck yeah, what, yes. This is so wholesome. We're gonna need to go buy some power shields, though. Yes. Oh, man. Yes. I love sledding. Wait, what month is it? It is the first month of winter. Okay, there we go. Uh, okay, yeah, there we go. That makes sense, then. For a second, it's I was in... like, oh, no. But no, we're good. No, um, It's a little <laughs> early to be snowing this hard, but, like, it's just... A little odd weather, not like magically induced weather. <laughs> yeah, it's not concerning. <laughs> yeah. All right. Time to put on my winter socks, my winter boots, my winter gloves, Damn my booties. winter play armor. <laughs> 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 All right, let's go. Make sure uh, uh, sun's bundled up tight. You guys want to go sledding? Yeah, you, yeah. Dude, you know I want to go sledding. Yeah, yeah. I, I need to bond with my son more. I can't not. I'm in. This is a wholesome it. parent activity. What else I fucking do? Is it like a big hill in town? Is everyone, what's, what's, what's the deal with sledding? There probably isn't enough on the ground yet. Oh. Says the man oh, wait a mask. minute. Holy oh, shit! <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. <laughs> How'd you get past You gotta that? knock. You gotta, you just, you gotta knock. Like, we can't. We can't live like this. There we set up traps to avoid this. <laughs> we, <laughs> oh, we took God. we took heavy precautions. <laughs> we, oh man, how's it going, Uncle Mask? He's, he kind of chuckles at that for a moment. <laughs> yes, not as well as I'd hope. Um, just some information. The lady appears to be arriving sometime around noon. Mm -hmm, also, mm -hmm. some of the uh, unfortunate attention that it, you have been drawing is getting nearer. Be careful with your vocabulary. Be careful? What does that even mean? We've never been careful with our vocabulary. Are there cursed <laughs> Never, oh, Never no. once. <laughs> oh, fuck. These yes, fucking there, assholes. There is one that... <laughs> I instructed you about back on the boat. Back do, on the boat. Do, do, do none of you remember that? <laughs> oh, Can you write I mean, it down? <laughs> quiz us, but by well, write it down first. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, he writes down autumn on a piece of paper oh, and yeah. hands it to you. <laughs> I write down fall question mark and pass it back. That one's probably fine. Cool. <laughs> I mean, hey. Depends on context. <laughs> yeah. Just <laughs> depends how careful you feel like being. Fair enough. Okay. Fair. That was super spooky. Well done. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm sure. Like hang out with us now, Vizier. Is that like what it is? Do you wanna? Do you wanna go sledding with us? That would be uh, quite strange. Uh, but come on, man. Enough. You know you wanna go sledding. <laughs> Roll persuasion. There. Yes. Excellent. I guess we'll buy a fourth tower shield. Um, you right, you turn good. back to like try and like take a measurement of him or something, and he's gone. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> These traps are useless. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, let's wait for a little bit more snow. Let's just go like let's go see the shops or something. I don't know. Let's do well, some kitschy. Kitschy it's, shit. It's early morning. We gotta go. We gotta do some shopping anyway. You're right. Feels like we're on vacation. Let's go run some errands. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So you uh, get out, and this is the most bustling you've seen this town. Oh and wow! Oh, definitely the most bustling it's been this time of day. Everyone is getting ready for the festival. Oh fuck yeah, dude! And there's a festival. This is amazing, <laughs> dude. Let's party. Let's fucking party. Oh, that's like such All an right. excuse to start drinking now. Let's go back into the bar and get some shots. <laughs> uh, I'm going to poke my head back into the innkeeper and be like, hey, where can we either get shields or sleds? 
she uh, takes out the little like uh, maps that they have for tourists and uh, circles a little thing here uh, on like a, a back district and is like, I think they should be able to set you up. Fantastic. Thank you very much. Slider a coin no and we're on our way. And we're on our way. Cool. Um, as you're going through the the town, you see that uh, while there is like a center of town that does have a fair amount of shops and stuff, there's also a whole bunch of things being set up um, near the coastline. Ah, uh-huh, right. Because uh, people know that that's presumably where she's going to be going, and they don't. And they're trying to like predict like where's the lady gonna be? Maybe we can make her do some stuff or whatever. <laughs> Set up somewhere. Yeah. As the peasants do. Yeah, and there's also just, like, rolling carts and decorations and all kinds of stuff just all over as they're walking ar- as you're walking around. Hell yeah. Festive. Yeah. Let's get some, like, balloons. I don't know. Let's go play some games. Let's see if there's a game booth. I like Son, games. how you feeling? The boy likes games. What do you want to do? I'm excited. Oh, yes. Good boy. <laughs> Good. Wholesome. What holiday is it? Uh, I think this town is celebrating not having to fight a big fleet that's about to come here. Oh, neat. Yeah, it's going to be great. We're celebrating that, too. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> um, uh, as you are passing along uh, some of the la- less affluent districts to get to like where the, uh, the sled shop is, you do notice that there are a couple, like, maybe not the official militia, but, like, retired adventurers or like people who are just like think they're hot shit are generally like gearing up because like maybe this won't go the way we think it goes right right what's right the, what's the official military action what's going on here um officially there isn't really anything other than like what you would expect from like a dignitary coming into town yeah so like they they are active but mostly in the like make sure no one tries to assassinate the god queen Yep, yep. Right, because they fully trust in the God Queen, and that's the yeah. actual word. Or the God they, they, they officially fully trust in the God Queen. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. Right. Um, the God yeah. Queen's coming, guys. I do believe in the God Queen. I do. <laughs> I'm excited. Alright, so uh, you get to the uh, the winter what's this, what would this even be called? Winter festivities shop? <laughs> <laughs> like winter festivity shop like they, they've got like sleds and snowshoes and skis and yeah um little uh uh trinkets that can like change the color of snow you see that they have these like sets of badges that lets you pretty much turn a snowball fight into a paintball fight that is fun oh that boy. is fun cool boy All right, so let's get some winter festivities Grab some sleds. Four sleds. One little one. Let's festivity. Fest- Three fest- beefy sleds and one. Fill me full of festival. <laughs> <laughs> cool. They they set you up. You've got plenty of sleds now, and All right, let's you roll. are get you've got some more comfortable gear for this type of thing. Because oh, yeah. I I imagine you probably need to pick that up. Um, Dragon, I have a yeah. question for you. Uh huh. Are are you at all concealing your eye? What? Why would I do that? <laughs> okay. Yo, so, uh, I want to roll perception and see what is wrong with his eye. <laughs> okay. Um, you don't need to roll perception. Yeah, I didn't think so. So, Jack, you remember <laughs> um, that he's got the brand. Oh, we got. For, you guys for got where superpowers. His pupil would be. Yeah. Oh right. Oh like, right. The other two of you hide pretty easily. Like, Gleason's wearing gloves. Sadrak's wearing. A shirt. <laughs> um, but, uh, Dragon, if you are, aren't making any effort to cover that, then, in fact, you might not even, do you use a mirror? No. Okay, what? then you have no idea why people are acting so nervous around you. But people what are acting that? nervous oh, around you. Yeah, maybe we should, hey, Dragon, maybe you should uh, wear this cool eye patch <laughs> that I found. Nonsense. <laughs> But you'll look like a badass. People won't think you lost. I already do. 
Uh, but this way, you'll have one eye that's always night vision mode. Dragon, you're mm-hmm. freaking people out. <laughs> Your eye's <laughs> funky. Do you want to see? It actually looks super badass, but not... Yeah, exa- exactly. Festival. Exactly I my point. Just, but hold it for a battle, you know what I mean? So, like, when it's time, you're scaring the children. Like Kenpachi Zaraki in Bleach. <laughs> <laughs> It's going more for Wrath, but Soraki works too. Yeah. Same effect. <laughs> <laughs> it gets the point across. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Plus. Um. So I right, we'll just let people freak out. At, at some point, you're probably just. Do you? Are you ever like, what? <laughs> when people are all like nervous around you? Oh yeah. Okay. Well, at I'm some not point, one to you, back down. Yeah. Mo- most people just kind of like. Skitter off or like continue to do their business with you or whatever. But uh, this shopkeeper in particular, while he's getting you slides or whatever, is like, So do you like know how I'm gonna die and stuff? You said what? <laughs> like, y- y- your eye, you're a prophet, right? Some say what? <laughs> I've heard that before. It's been, uh, I'm a pretty special guy, so that makes sense. <laughs> You're really, you're really killing it, dude. <laughs> okay. Um. Well. Good to know. And he goes goes back to. I wink at him. Stuff. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Holy shit, dude! You got to ride this profit profit thing. That's true. Fantastic. You think I can get a book deal? You definitely gotta get a book. That's like that's what you. That's gotta be that's gotta be the next step, right? That's the immediate next step. Like one hundred and one. Yeah. An artist rendition of your face. (laughs) Make public appearances. Show the eye. Bam, boom. Profits. Anyway. Hashtag speculative fiction. (laughs) So is 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 it the same symbol that we all have? Yeah, it's the sigil of the moonlit court. Okay, but it's that's what I figured. That's fucking cool. That's fucking cool. All right. What time is she coming? Noon. What time is it actively? Uh, depends how long this took. So probably, let's say it took an hour. We're up at sunrise. 8.30 a.m. maybe? All right, we're I'm assuming you had breakfast. Do we want to prep? Do we want to militarily prep? Do you think, you would think this might not go the way we think it might go? I walked out pretty prepped. All right. I'm prepared for anything. What gear are you wearing, by the way, just to be clear? Like, are you in your battle shit, or are you uh, yeah, in just Yeah, winterized battle shit. Okay. Yeah. I don't, I don't have another shirt. Oh, yeah, sorry. That is fair. <laughs> Dr- Dr- Dragon is always wearing just normal people clothes. <laughs> Dragon, are you, are you cold? <laughs> what is cold? <laughs> what a fucking Dragon. psychopath. All right. <laughs> I guess we're ready to go. Sledding. We're ready to go. <laughs> All right, cool. Um, I guess I'm trying to decide how much of a thing I want to make sledding. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy. Do you do want it, another mini it. game, or do you uh, want me to just say you go sledding? Let, you know what? Let's like play the mini game. What? What is the sledding? <laughs> mini oh my game god! Is? Sledding mini game. We're here. There is always a mini game. Yes. I, don't know, I don't know if you guys didn't come here for the sledding mini games, but <laughs> I'm certainly here for it. So I didn't come for it, but I'm definitely here to stay with it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, yeah. I All what right. Happened. So uh, you you get there and you see that um, there are like three tiers of slopes here. Um, this obviously isn't like a, a mountain or anything, so it's not like, full-on ski lodge shit. But there is, like, the bunny hill, the middle hill, and a particularly steep hill that, like, has a nickname. But depending on who you ask, it's a different nickname. <laughs> That's... Like, right. there, there, there's, like, 15 of these names that you've just gone between, and it goes like, oh, yeah, no, no, that's, uh, that's uh, King Winter's Beard. And you ask someone else, and it's like, oh, yeah, no, no, that's um, the icy death house. <laughs> <It's> like, <obviously. laughs> well, it. that's obviously the only one we're using. Yeah, I don't really understand why <laughs> like, there's I don't, parts I don't understand. Like, yeah, why, why even take the time? Like, let's go. <laughs> All right. Big um, beefy boys, big beefy mountain. Let's take it. So you also notice that there is 
um, firing every however many, like, maybe twice an hour or that type of thing, there is a race. A race? Yep. Yeah. Yep. We're that, uh, you've got people in their sleds, and there's uh, a very official-looking person with a little checkered flag at the top. Yep. Yep. Fantastic. I think, Would uh... the checkered flag be at the bottom? You'd think that. This is wild. These are some, these are <laughs> what? Some, some crazy townsmen. All right, let's do it. Welcome to Swords and Sorcery, Michael. The flag's on the other side. Yeah. <laughs> How unbelievable. All right, I think Soudrak should race, because since he's a fire dragon man, he'll be able to uh, slide faster. Yep, that's... That's that's, a that's that makes thing. sense. Yeah, dragons slide faster. What? <laughs> <laughs> well, cause fire will melt the snow and it'll slide more. Like, are you saying you put the snow, the, melt the snow in front of him? Well, no, I figured he'd just be hotter. So he couldn't use his tail as a rudder. How I long so. do you think you're on the snow, Gleason? <laughs> I don't know. Like he, he's on a sled. <laughs> no, but what if it's like curling, where like I'm. Br- like, because we're only on the, the snow for such a short time, so I'm blowing fire in front of me to, like, melt it and get it smoother. But is that okay. cheating? Well, no one's <laughs> told you any rules yet. Oh, I guess you can't cheat if there's no rules. Let's in- let's in- well, let's inquire. Are there rules to this here racing establishment? Um, a, a person in, like, black leather with ski- skiing goggles oh my God, comes up yes. and goes, <laughs> Nope. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Oh really? No. <laughs> oh, okay. No rules here. <laughs> um, we're in. Uh, I would like to race. That's, uh, Sign that's me a... the hell up. <laughs> that, that says beefy boys all over it. <laughs> Never been a more beefy boy activity. <laughs> all right, cool. So, it, it, who is racing? I am. All three of us. Uh, j- j- just soundtrack. I guess okay. is everyone do doing it. it? Might as yeah, well. everyone can do it. So, right. who do you want to go with? Or do you want to race on your own, like a big boy? Uh, yeah, son. He's the boy. The I, boy I, rides I, on his own. This is, I don't know. If he is the boy. This is a good idea for the boy. The boy needs to I learn. Dragon, there are no yes. rules. Son, there are no <laughs> rules. All right, son. There are no rules, meaning My the boy, boy can race. Yeah, I was at the same And the boy listen, shall son. race. Listen, boy, there are no rules in, like, slide him a dagger. <laughs> what? I say, boy, there are no rules, and I give him my axe, which is probably too heavy for him. Uh, yeah, he he sort of, he gets it and is trying to look like all tough and just slowly tips over. <laughs> <laughs> I pat him on the head boy. and I take the axe back. Okay. Well, one day, son. One day. This boy is so precious. <laughs> I give him a grindstone and I say, "Sharpen your sled, boy." <laughs> Sharpen. I, okay. Keep the rail sharp, boy. Oh, right, right, that kind of slide. I'm thinking like the, the plastic flat one, but yeah, sure, it probably does have rails, you're right. <laughs> yeah, it's probably wood with like the rails on it, yeah. right? Yeah. No, these are the nice sleds, you're right. <laughs> yeah, we went to the we went to the finest the finest snow amusement shop the, in town. The finest yeah. sledsmith. Finest sledsmith, yeah. Alright, okay. sharpen him up. Do it do it up. Um so yeah, you, you see him like sort of like practice and figure out how he's how he should like sit or stand or that type of thing. Okay. Um, all right. You you're all lining up to get started. What are your strats? I'm like, gonna melt the snow in front of me. Okay. <laughs> so like, are you on your belly or are you? Are I'll be you on my belly. Like... Yeah, holding it with my hands, uh, shooting fire in front of me to try and melt the snow so that it becomes smooth. Like, you know what I mean? That's not how gonna snow amazing. works. <laughs> it's going to be awesome, dude. It's going to be fine. Okay. We're going to try it. We're going to see what happens. I'm going to surf down. <laughs> All right. Just try and, like, straight out balance. Like, uh-huh. hope, hope your body weight just carries you forward. I, I've, I've went on rougher seas than a hill of snow. I think I can manage this. Oh, are you planting your axe in the sled? Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna, it's how I'm driving it. <laughs> All right. Amazing. All right, um, Gleason, what's your plan? Uh, I'm gonna sit on it like a reasonable person, <laughs> and okay. uh, use my maul kind of as like a paddle to turn and stuff. <laughs> All right, cool. <laughs> Wait, I want to change my position to sitting, but just kind of leaned forward. <laughs> I don't know if I need to get my face right up in there, and if it doesn't go out so well, I could just be sitting and just enjoy the ride. <laughs> So let's let's get to it. Uh, see here, here, I thought that you were gonna tell me that soundtrack is like all about skeleton. 
<laughs> All right, fun. All right, um, wait. Everybody, Gleason oh, sees ahead. that Soudrak changed to a sitting position, so he jumps onto his belly. <laughs> <laughs> we we now have the variety for the fan. Gotcha. <laughs> levels. Alright, let's do it. I can't find a starting gun sound effect. That's a shame. Alright. Um, so, there is, like, that uh, post. a countdown. Wait, I used my pistol to try and throw people off so that they start <laughs> later. I, as or, soon as that gun goes sooner. off, I hold and then shoot so the people think it was a second shot, like a like, like a starting gun kind of deal. Yeah. Start yeah. Like people get confused. Smart. You know, smart. like, if, it's, if it's like a false start, they'll shoot the gun again to come back. So, okay. I'm, I'm gonna fake a false start. Okay, yeah, so sorry. we can do that, uh, but everybody roll initiative. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I rolled a 17. I rolled a 6. I rolled an 8. Sun rolled a 15. Dude, Sun. Fucking, you bet he did. My boy! <laughs> the young lad bit it. My boy. And uh, the, the mystery racer rolled a 22. Damn, mystery racer. There's a mystery racer? Can't have a race with a mystery racer. What are you talking about? <laughs> the fucking, fucking game you think we're playing, game, dude. This is the best. All right, let's it, do it. It's the men all in black with the cool goggles. Oh my god, oh, I know boy. who it's gonna be. <laughs> yes. Oh yes. <laughs> oh, I can't believe it. <laughs> How wonderful. This is gonna be the best, best thing ever. All right, <laughs> and they're off. All right, so um. You're you're zipping down the thing. Uh, the, the mystery racer seems like they are using some form of magic. You don't know exactly what. They're not being too fancy about it, but they're just like in a normal sledding position and just going faster than they should. Curse <laughs> you! All right, Gleason, you're up. <laughs> how do you, how do you get started? Okay, I am gonna. Uh, you know, just push myself off, essentially. Okay. Just like, kind of butterfly swim forward. Alright, cool. You get off to a reasonable start. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, Sun does the thing where you're sort of like running and then jump and put it down and get on top of it. Yeah. Fantastic. So like, he, he gets a fair amount of momentum going in, but he just does not have the body weight the rest of you do, so he's not moving all that fast. He'll be, a, he'll be a beefy boy eventually. Alright. Okay, so Alright, I'm gonna breath weapon it. I I was I clicked it to see if it would if it was like a cone or a, a line. Do I have a choice? It's always the same, but I think it's a cone because you do fire, right? Damn. Actually hold on one sec. Let me I need I'm, to check something. Oh you can check it but because it's my color. I'm a red dragon. No, no, no. Oh, it's not by color. I think it is by so, color, though. So, it is based on your color, and you're a red dragon. Um, that's not what happened this time. Hmm. Um, you, you go to breathe fire, and you're like, ah, oh, let's make this cone, and it comes out as a uh, beam of energy. Oh. Whoa. Fuck, dude. I want to laser beam all the snow into, like, a sheet bah. of ice. <laughs> like Godzilla, dude. This is, this, this, is what we're, this is what I'm talking about. Let's do it. Yeah, it doesn't necessarily have as it's not. Unfortunately, despite its uh, better like combat prowess, it's not as good at like melting ice. <laughs> it's, just, it's like force damage, but like you you still are able to like get, cheat out some speed on that. Nice. Should have just shot it behind me. <laughs> Dragon, what's up? Like an afterburner. <laughs> I'm going to uh, take my mighty axe and use it to propel myself forward. By like hitting the ground real hard, like slingshotting forward, and then just nice. slinging it back into the the sled to use as a uh, rudder paddle thing. That sounds like it would look sick. All right, could you make an attack roll for me? Sure. <laughs> Should I use the axe? Yeah. All right. Let's see. That's a crit. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and we're off, boys. So yeah, just geez. dragon, pretty much just throws himself past you guys. Damn. And then, like, anchors onto his sled so he can't possibly, like, mess this up. <laughs> yeah. The mystery racer is up next, and now he's been passed by Dragon, um, and he's going to uh, cast a quick spell, which is gonna try and uh, make the ice in front of you just, like, 
come up in spikes, so mm. that it'll just stop the sled. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, but, Dragon, a moment before the ice even appears, you get this vision that it's like, oh, hey, that's about to happen. Nice, nice. So, roll a dex save with advantage. Ooh. Neato. Ten. <laughs> so, you're so startled by the, the fact that that just happened, that you're like, what? I, uh, and then just slam into the ice. <laughs> Luckily, you've built up enough momentum that you you keep going, mm-hmm. but like you you've definitely lost some speed, and um, uh, the mystery racer and Soudrak pass you. Nice. Not for right. long. Gleason, you're up. Gleason. Yeah, he didn't make it. He died. I don't know. <laughs> No, I had had the microphone muted. I was taking a drink. Um, He's so sad. He's so gone. He has so much to live for. (laughs) I'm going to use this sled. Our our son will grow up with three fathers. How (laughs) How will he possibly be raised properly without his three fathers? Two of parents. (laughs) <laughs> Every good lad needs the three fathers to raise him. That's how you become a proper beefy boy. That is a proper family. I was raised the family by three like fathers, three like my three fathers before me. <laughs> the way it shall be, the way it will always be. I'm gonna use, uh, how, how really The mighty household. How long is the uh, the racetrack, I guess? It's a pretty tall hill. So, a oh. cu- couple hundred feet. Okay. Okay. Then uh, I'll save that for later. Then uh, I'm taking inspiration from Dragon. I jump okay. up on my uh, sled like a surfboard. And, That's a trendsetter. Uh, yeah, That's right. So cool. <laughs> and then use my ball and hit the ground and try and propel myself forward again because I have. Guys, what's it like being in a party with such a cool trendsetter like Dragon over here? <laughs> Dude, it's so incredible. <laughs> it's like, I'd imagine. Oh, shit, that's a great idea. <laughs> like, I can only imagine being Dragon, how fucking wonderful it is, but I mean, you guys, you guys get to see it <laughs> and then you get to want to copy it. It's pretty amazing. Uh, Alright, no. I changed my mind. I'm gonna. <laughs> <laughs> I changed my mind a third time after that whole spiel. I'm gonna use Tasha's hideous laughter on Tom. <laughs> I'm gonna have that whole conversation out loud. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Okay. Um, so Tom, mm-hmm. looks like you need to make a wisdom saving throw. Uh-huh. <laughs> Seventeen. Does that beat your spell DC? Oh, I don't even know. Where, where do I even find the information? Oh. <laughs> Please. In. Oh, my spell. Dead again. Um, so young. Just keeps keeps dying. Is there a god? Some would say no. Not with these unfair times we live in. What's um? Where where would that be? I forget. Up above your spells. It's twelve. It's fine. Oh my yeah. god. Yes, yeah, you passed, please. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um. Okay, it seems like you are unaffected. Damn right, I'm not. Yeah. All right. So you don't you don't have to laugh hideously, but you do think this is all very funny. <laughs> of course I do. <laughs> all right, Sun is trailing behind you, so you can't actually see him. Mm-hmm. Uh, Soudrak, what's up? Ah, uh, so there's no rules, right? Pretty much, yeah. None. Um, the mystery racer. Alright, I'm gonna throw a hand axe at him. <laughs> <laughs> him just for kicks. I like it. Okay, yeah, no, you just hit him with a hand axe. You just hear him go, what the fuck? And throw him off the sled. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Drake, right. you're up. I begin. With my speech to the lads, I don't right. think we are being proper fathers if Sun doesn't win this race. This will be our <laughs> Christmas gift to him. We need the Christmas miracle of Sun winning, so we must all die on our swords. And if we have to, slaughter the fuck out of this man in black. If, there's, if we have to stop sledding to murder him in cold blood, 
No, the boy needs to know where he stands among sled racers. <laughs> it's important the boy, to see the powers. For a Christmas miracle, he needs to win. What? We need to give him a proper Christmas. But we need to give him a boy. Like a boy. A boy. A boy is, har is, is harassed by his fathers 364 days out of the year. But on Christmas, <laughs> we give him the gift of victory. It's not Christmas. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> And nor is it a true victory. I will defeat you all. I'm gonna throw my axe at Sardrak. <laughs> That's bad. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so like, no, do you have a hand axe, or you're just going to full on just chucking uh, the wood axe at him? So it? here's my plan. I'm gonna yeah. throw uh, the axe still attached to the sled overhand, so I spin forward towards him. So I'm just coming at I'm coming at him with everything. Oh, so you're I trying to thor this. this. Like, I jump and I throw, but everything's attached and I'm not letting go either, so here I come. I'm also raging. <laughs> <laughs> that... That physics doesn't make any sense, but I'll... I'll let you roll for it. That's you damn right. chance. Damn right I get to roll for it. <laughs> make an improvised thrown attack. I think we put that on your, your uh... 21. Uh... Yeah! No, that does it. <laughs> Damn right it does. Fuck it. So you <laughs> just like <laughs> are able to just like chuck it and like put like enough momentum on it. You've got some magic in your rage. You don't know exactly how it works. Sure don't. But, like you, I just you know just results. Really know that you can throw stuff harder than you have any reason to be able to, mm -hmm. and throw it forward and like let go for a second and then catch it again. Um, and just fly forward. Um, Soudrak, you're going to take 8 damage, and I need you to make a dexterity save. <laughs> and as I'm doing this, I want to scream, no rules. Yeah. <laughs> I, was hit, I was hit with the lack of rules. <laughs> What's your roll? 11. 11. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so, uh, Dragon just crumples into you. You were not <laughs> expecting that. I gotta say, if one of us took advantage of the fact that there were no rules, it was that guy. <laughs> and just the two of you and your two sleds are just in a crumpled heap next to a tree. So little rules. Even the rules of physics don't apply. <laughs> Alright. Hashtag um, no rules rules. <laughs> Uh, the mystery racer is getting up and starting to get back onto his sled. <laughs> Gleason zips by him. Uh, Gleason, your turn. Excellent. Am I close to sun? Um, do you look back? I like, was... You, you have to look behind you. Uh, I was hoping that he was in front of me. Oh, no, no, he is behind you. Okay, um... Yeah, I'm gonna look back and see how close sun is. He's, like, reasonably close. Like... He's definitely just, he's been going slower than you this entire time, but like, not by a lot. And you haven't really accelerated all that much, so. Okay. Um, yeah. Well, I do agree with Dragon, maybe a little less dramatically. <laughs> uh, <laughs> would I be able to slow down and then wait for, yeah, sure. wait for Sun to get, kind of get, uh, near me, next to me, and then hit the back of his sled with my hammer. Sure, so you're gonna ready an action for when he comes by, and then just, like, generally, like, lean on the front of your sled so it'll, like, dig into the snow more. Pretty much, yeah. Just, like, give him a little, give him a little boost. Okay. I'm just saying, he will absolutely notice that you're slamming his, his uh, sled with a maul. Okay, fair enough, yeah. So, like, I don't know if that was your plan, but I'm letting you know that he'll notice. Yeah, I guess so. So is okay. that what you're doing? Yeah, no, you know what? I got it, yeah. Okay. Cool. All right, so it is uh, Sun's turn, and you see him, like, getting ready and, like, really leaning into it, and then straighten up. You see, like, his feathers ruffle a bit, and then just oh, yeah, blast a, past you. He's a bird. What the Totally fuck? forgot that. <laughs> Whoa. And you just feel this huge gust of wind that is just like throwing him down the mountain. Damn, dude, that kid's a real fucking winner. He's a real fucking winner. I just cuddled Dragon in my arms. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so proud of our boy! 
<laughs> our beautiful boy. And so you see that, like, um, Gleason, if you're still, I don't know if you're too taken aback to take your swing, but if you are going to take a swing at it, it'll be oh. a disadvantage. Oh, no, I fall off my sled in shock. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so you see him just like ripping down the the uh, um, mountain, and then end up like being neck and neck with the mystery racer oh as God. he's getting back up to speed. God well, bless the shit. boy. What is gonna happen? <laughs> Soundtrack, you're up. Can I? I'm gonna draw down and fucking open fire on the mystery racer. <laughs> <laughs> just fucking shoot him in the back. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> yes, you are. Yes, no, you I'm are. Just press. Oh, no, I'm not that close. Just fucking uh, wing I mean, you're it. You're probably within 60 feet. Just fire away. Right, Hope for I'm the best. Run up to him and press to digitate a fucking like shower of sparks in his eyes or something. Okay, so you're just trying to like distract him. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't want to fucking kill this guy. It's fucking, <laughs> just sled race, you guys. Like, um, Jesus Christ. No rules. <laughs> Embrace that or die. <laughs> I'm just gonna try this. Where are all your spells? Oh, I'm looking at Dragon's sheet. No wonder he doesn't have any spells. <laughs> okay. Um, I have an X. Yeah, so uh, I guess I'll give him, like, disadvantage on his next roll or something. Neat. Because Presto is, like, intentionally the this doesn't actually do anything effect. Yeah, I, I, I get it. I just <laughs> not like, it's like It's like kill or do this. I don't know. <laughs> all, all of my other options are like as lethal as I can get them. Why don't you just no, fake a gunshot with Presto? Can I? Sparks in his eyes. <laughs> oh, can I? Can I retreat? Can I retreat that decision? I just, sure, sure. I haven't looked at the spell list yet, really, because I have lightning lure. <laughs> okay, so that's within fifteen feet. So you're gonna have to get pretty close. Are you just gonna run down the mountain yep, to get like within range? Unless like unless one of our sleds is in is in any shape to make me go faster, I'm just gonna try to run down and see if I can get it. Okay, make an athletics check to see if you can get in range. Oh, he's a strong man. Let's see if he can do it. Fuck. <laughs> that team's not 13. terrible. No, it's not terrible. Okay. I mean, it's so no, it's original. Uh... So he, so here's the deal. Um, I'll say that you can get within range and cast your spell, and potentially even pull him off if, if he fails his save, but, like, it's gonna look like shit. You're gonna be, like, tumbling head over heels yeah. down the mountain, and just, like, barely stand up, like, shoot a lightning <laughs> bolt, catch his, like, thigh. Yes, that's it's okay. all worth it for Sun's victory. <laughs> okay, cool. All right, so he needs to make a strength save or be pulled out. Actually, you know what? He's too surprised. You just wrap this <laughs> lightning thing around him and then just rip him off the sled. Just out of nowhere, and this this whole this whole sled race has been wacky. <clears throat> All right, roll your. Uh, oh, wait, okay. Hey, he that does not move him within five feet. Oh no, it does. Ten feet in a straight line to you. And then 15 feet away, puts him within 5 feet of you. Roll 2d8 lightning, or 3d8 lightning damage. Isn't that the, well, why is it 3d8? Did it say that? It increases two, by 1d8 when you reach 5th. Oh, oh, I already did that. Okay, so, yeah, it's 2d8. Yeah, there it is. It's right there, 11. It's right there with it. Ah, yep, 11 damage. Cool. He just gets fucking blasted with lightning. <laughs> <laughs> really? I really <laughs> came like, at this guy. This ow. race. And I hope he, he just doesn't hold it against out. <laughs> Jesus. And uh, Sun gets to the bottom of the uh, the the hill where there is like a, a little like line in the snow that he zips by, oh, and beauty. there there's someone down there with another checkered flag that <laughs> is like waving it. Amazing. God bless. <laughs> God bless the boy. He fought hard and he did well. Hey, I never got to do my false start thing. <laughs> you did not. <laughs> Great idea though. Yeah. <laughs> fire your anyway. gun. Fire your gun right now. <laughs> <laughs> just shoot it again. Shoot, but shoot Blast it at but when you fire it, fire it <laughs> at do, the mystery they racer. Like, they have a starting gun and a, and a checkered flag at the top, so they need a starting gun and a checkered flag at the bottom. So <laughs> I'll restore balance to the racing world and fire one off into the, into the sky. Just, just, fire, just fire one off into yeah. his head, it was, execution it's a, style. It's a festival. Everyone's shooting in the air. It's fine. Okay, cool. Nobody yeah, has no, guns. No, no, one, no one really like bats an eye at you doing it, but you do lose one of your bullets. Oh, thank you. Yes, that's fine. We're at the <laughs> festival. 
Type okay. 11. Yeah, so just mark that down somewhere. Um, yeah, so someone like looks back up at you with everyone just like in a crumpled heap, and it's like, I won! Hell yeah, you, yeah, you did, boy. Hell yeah, That's dude. our boy. All right, that I'm our gonna, boy. Our mighty lad. I'm going to slide over to the mystery racer and... Uh, unmask him, heal. unmask him. Oh, we gonna, got unmask. Unmask him first. I guess so I'll he can't escape. <laughs> Are you like a Scooby Doo episode. <laughs> Are you guys just yelling unmask? <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Yes, I am. Unmask the mystery racer. Oh my okay. god, okay. <laughs> take off his sure. goggles. You take off his goggles. You have no idea who the fuck this is. <laughs> <laughs> Who'd you guys think it was? I, I thought, thought it was the vizier. vizier. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> you were both so sure. I, I was like, I hope was, he's not mad at us. I was so confused. Like, did I forget something? Why do these two think that he's like a character we know? I have no, like, never, none of this description so means funny. anything to me. Oh it took god. me a sec, because like when he was like, oh my god, I was like, what are they thinking? <laughs> who, who is it? And I eventually put it together and was like, oh. Oh, so dude, I should have like, shot this guy. Out. Dude, I should have shot him. That would have been hilarious. <laughs> no, he didn't. No, 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 no. He's still, he's still Luik. He can still do it. <laughs> he's still shootable. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna heal the guy. Can I? Yeah. Since we're not in combat, does that have to be like a real spell or? Um, yes, it does because you still expend it. All uh, right. And he's d he's down like 19 points. Fuck this guy! I'm gonna sprint down the hill to my child. Yeah, that guy can suck a dick. Well, he, uh, presumably 19. Oh, no, he's not dying. He's just unconscious. Okay, yeah. So, he's a loser, unlike our son, who like is a hero. 20-something. You don't need to necessarily give him much to get him back like up. He, yeah. he was injured from doing this. He did start this shit with the ice on Draken. Fair true, enough. true. Okay, uh, I'm going to use one of my spell slots and use um, Cure Wounds. Oh, All right. fuck. <laughs> <laughs> you heal him for the two, and he's like, "Appreciate it." Sorry, man. <laughs> no, it's, it's fine. And I swear, it's never up. like this usually. <laughs> as I sprint down the hill, hard. as I sprint down the hill, I'm going to accidentally step on him and bury him further in the snow. <laughs> oh, sorry, man. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you are the guy who said no rules. No I rules. Did, yeah. I did ask. Does this have? No, no, it's cool. Like that, that's fine. Just holy moly. We should have a month every year. Shit. <laughs> Yo, let's. Uh, can we spend the rest of the time in the morning gambling on this? <laughs> <laughs> sure, Dragon, sure. Go hide in the trees and take this bundle of hand axes. <laughs> <laughs> You'll know what to do when the time comes. And yeah, that's that's how we're gonna spend un our time until twelve. I'm totally down to rig sled races till twelve. <laughs> I'll go get war mail and then come like, back prepare and another also mini gamble. Game. <laughs> <laughs> this is we're not we gambling because we're going on. to fix all of the results by <laughs> by cheating. This is not a gamble. This is a, this is a game. We're winning. We're, we're making right. money. <laughs> <laughs> we're throwing the axes. I sure am. No, I, we're not. We're not. I sure am. Is, we're gonna have to fix some races. If we're gonna fix the races. This isn't the way to do it. We can just throw axes at racers. People will get suspicious. Why don't we just throw people axes at people without uh, uh, actually there are no getting rules? All right, let's see if anyone's willing to take up some action on this. What if Dragon just threw like sticks at stuff because he's got improvised weapon? Yeah, yeah, that's yada. true. He could just like jump through. Oh no, the hand axes fell. are more fun. <laughs> but tree branches don't have blades. We don't need excuses because there's no rules. But that's nobody's gonna bet on us if we rig all the races. So obviously. Wait, is there? Is there? I'm we gotta, like, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta haggle. We gotta, yeah, we gotta. gotta... Like people, are people betting? Are other people betting? I mean, mostly on themselves. Okay, so what we're gonna do is start like the organized gambling pool, quote unquote, and take ten percent off the top. Oh, I so love it. we're gonna just like you know, guys. Help people, I, like, I don't know what I, I think. I think here. we need to give up on this adventure thing and just start a casino. I think we, I think we just, <laughs> we just d d fucking uh, hit something here. It's wonderful. All right, ten percent so... off the top. What what can we can we like roll something to like disseminate yeah. the uh, the officialness of this gambling pool that we're starting? Um, I'll say somebody roll a persuasion and somebody roll a performance, and we'll see how you do. All right, uh, I got I'll, the performance twenty three. I'll roll persuasion with twenty four and a crit. 
Holy Fuck, shit. We yeah. fucking started the game. <laughs> All right, yeah, I know. Pe- so this is like, there aren't a ton of tourists in town, but there are some. Yeah. And so you're starting this up, and you're so official with how you approach it that they're like, oh, okay, this must be like the people who run this. <laughs> Damn right, we're the people that and run then, this. We like, we like real quick, like made up like tickets with like calligraphy. <laughs> we like forged a whole set to make it look good. We've been doing and this every year this we've critical... been here. <laughs> <laughs> and once you hit this critical mass of tourists, you start getting like the people who are always here because like, I mean, you're the biggest game in town. <laughs> Damn right. If you think you got what it takes to win a, win a race, you have to go through these guys, obviously. Yeah, man. You yeah. want to make some money on this? All right. You're so, yeah, you make a fair amount of money. Hell, Hell yeah. yeah, dude. Good moves. Fantastic. We ran that. We ran that shit today. Our son won the won the race. Made some money. Pretty we're official. We're official. We're finally, I'm up, guys. Yep. I feel like we sometimes we get lost like what we're gonna do next, but we we always figure it out. You know what I mean? <laughs> we uh we use the time well that life has <laughs> given us. Hey folks, how are you doing? I'm suffering from writer's block at the moment, so this is going to be a short one since I'm not feeling super witty. First things first, a quick update about our release schedule. Due to everyone's schedules being utter hell, we haven't had a chance to record much. We still have a bit of backlog left, but once that's up, I'll have to try and get the gang back together to pick up where we left off. I'm shooting for about a four-week gap between this set of episodes, but episode 14 is absolutely massive, so we'll have to see. If you like the show, please let us know iTunes reviews, YouTube comments, tweets, whatever works for you, we want to hear from you. That would definitely help more episodes get made, and faster. I hope you've been enjoying the story so far. I sincerely love putting this together, and I think it's a privilege to share it with the world. Finally, this show is not brought to you by Audible, Blue Apron, or the Dollar Shave Club. I don't really have a bit here, but it seemed like those guys sponsor everyone else, so... Hey. We're available, winky face. Anyway, back to the show. Do you lose track of time, or are you sure no, to well, be I'm, back I'm at noon? No, I'm watching the sun like a hawk to make sure we don't lose okay. noon. Okay, cool, cool. Um, so where are you at noon? Uh, Still I say casino. where the tourists are, unless there's like, is there a good view from the, the, the hill? I mean, sure, it's far away, but you can see it, so like... Maybe we want to go right up and see the fleet. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, so as you are, actually, since you're on a hill, you can see, uh, starting to come over the oh, horizon, fuck. a couple of ships. Yeah, that's it. When, I, I assume when we see that, we're like, all right, all right, all right. What I think <laughs> yeah. we should do, guys, is get some officers going to keep the gambling going. That's exactly what I was going to say. Exactly I say, right. I say we invest a little bit of this scratch... And we can't just have this be an operation year round. Let's yeah, pick man. up a building. Send yeah, it, no, uh, if we can get like a place and like send it um, over to the innkeeper and put it in our room, all the, yeah. the earnings. Right, put it in the double room. Um, okay, um, I'm going to need a persuasion check from somebody to see if you can convince someone to do this, and an insight check to find out if they're trustworthy. Um, okay. got that persuasion. Nineteen I, persuasion. I, I... All right, Dragon's the guy who persuaded the guy, and he did okay. I rolled a 15 in insight. You're reasonably sure. Okay. Like, you, you, you found someone that, like, doesn't seem like they're going to complete. They're not just going to, like, take over. Wouldn't we, okay. uh, wouldn't we get, um, you know, we're the founders. We, uh, I feel like we should have advantage on this. We're also very threatening. We're large I mean, men. I must you know what, Trey, take, t- take I don't, advantage. I don't know what no, what no means. It's not, I rolled not a possible. nine, so still 15. All right, so that's it. <laughs> Damn right. it. <laughs> so generally, like, you know that this guy probably isn't going to completely screw you over, but, like, you're doing this very quickly and very, like, ramshackle, because, like, you need to be gone in, like, ten minutes. Yep. <laughs> if he and fucks you need us, to find someone else who doesn't care about being there in, like, ten minutes. We're just going to break yeah. this dude's kneecap. It's cool. It's cool. Yeah. If he wants to fuck cool. us, hey, we'll fuck him back. 
It's we fine. got right. it's, it's we got clubs. Fine. It's gonna be fine. So, yeah. you, you you've got someone to to generally run it for you. That seems Thank vaguely you. trustworthy. <clears throat> okay, so where are you actually going to be? Uh, um, you guys want to go right to the water? I guess so. Maybe not or, right to the. Is water. there like a is there like a church tower close to the water? I want to get up high, but near the water. We could probably climb up on top of a house or something. Sure, sure. Yeah, I would just sit on a roof or something. Okay. Um, I'm going to say that the darkened glass is probably pretty close to the water just because that's like... Yeah, <laughs> you probably grabbed an inn pretty close to begin with. That's probably why Velik favors it in the first place. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah. ha having like functionally like booked out these two rooms for indefinitely, uh, they're, you're like, can, can we get on the roof? And they're like, yeah, sure. Oh, just nice. don't break it. <laughs> yeah, we won't. We won't. We also, we're gonna us. need a safe box <laughs> for a yeah. lot of a lot of money that's gonna be coming in. <laughs> Wait, so then we just we just bring so we just bring the the bulk of our scratch bag ourselves, right? Because yeah, yeah, you you bring back what you got yeah, yeah, today. Yeah, yeah. But, but like, if you're trying to make going. this into like yep. a venture in the future, then gotcha, yeah. gotcha. Got to trust old Kevin. What's his name? Who the guy? Kevin. We don't respect him to use his real name. Well, what are we calling him I, then? You, you Whatever Kevin, you want. So. Kevin, name is Kevin. He can be James. He can be Bookie. Kevin James. L, uh, whatever. <laughs> Wait, that's a real person. You just keep <laughs> saying that. Running our gambling operation. <laughs> Kevin James is a fine uh, whatever operation runner that he is. He sure is. All right, let's proceed with the affairs of state. All right, we're watching. All right, so you're you're we're up on the it. top of the uh, darkened glass when noon strikes. And you feel the lady show up before you see her. Oh, whoa. Um, Ooh, tingly. <laughs> because for a moment, um, it just feels like there isn't air. Like, your breath just catches. Interesting. Um, and you see, like, the snow just, like, hang in the sky for, like, about a second. And then everything just resumes again. Hmm. Oh, fuck. So that's some real face shit right there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's spooky. coming. Very spooky. Um, and then you, you tell that she's arriving by, like, the ripple of people getting out of her way. <laughs> uh, um, do we have, ahead. like, a like? spyglass or anything? Sure. Uh, I think uh, Saldrak still has the cracked one from the ship. Oh, yeah. perfect. That, that he dropped. That's <laughs> Lupig. Well, well, well. All right, let's get a look. Okay, so uh, I'm going to assume that you are relaying what you see, or would you rather hop into the conspiracy corner and give like the summary? I will relay deeply what I am saying, what I'm okay. seeing. I will. Like, I assume we can all pass it around to too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. Yeah, I, I, I just of this figured that was the be. options. So. Yeah. Um. So. The person who's clearly the lady has arrived in a group of five. Um, how should I go about describing this? Oh my. Okay, so firstly, quick aside. Uh, coming across the horizon are five warships. And these warships are larger than anything you've seen. They, these are probably... Or anyone but... Dragon. Dragon has seen these before, but these are top of the line for the Navy. It's very odd. Yeah. Um, That's so cool. And I don't think he's ever seen five of them in the same place. <laughs> nope. Oh, Not even once. Yeah. Um, if you had to estimate, there's probably a good couple thousand troops in them. Ooh, Golly. Oh, boy. Yeah. A thousand each, you say? I, I was saying, like, b yes, a thousand each is roughly accurate. Okay. There's a lot of people coming right now. Um, yeah, there is. Uh, and so you see that um, there are five people coming. The first one um, you recognize as someone that you've had described to you as the mayor of Helif. Because, of course, uh, in your drunken ramblings about public works, you did ask about them. <laughs> um, you, you see that they are like a uh, older human politician. You remember their name is Tellius Rowe. 
Um, and then you see someone that is probably the provisional governor, based on descriptions. Um, it is uh, a portly human woman with a large mace um, and oh. dressed in uh, clerical garb, but not with any of the um, markings or insignias that you would expect uh, Gleason. Like, this is a, a faith that you are not familiar with. There is a very lanky man that you've never seen before uh, that is standing quite close to the lady um, that is in uh, leather armor and appears to be, like, scanning the crowd very quickly. He looks kind of twitchy. Um, and then a, a half-orc woman in light armor and a cape that shimmers like pure starlight. And she's tall. Ooh. You're having a little trouble judging heights from this distance, but uh, the, the, the half-orc woman is definitely the tallest of the set, um, while the lady is also quite tall for an elven woman, at least at first glance, fair. Difficult like that, but like it, it's what you've come to parse as elf or high fae or like that type of person. Um, gotcha. She wears a simple black cloak with a golden clasp. Um, from here you can see that she wears a necklace of purple flowers and with one red one separated upon them. Hmm. Um, from here you're probably pretty far away. So yeah, that, that's, that is the description you have. And you see that she's like sort of just mingling at this point. Dude, should we go mingle? We're all single and ready to mingle. Let's do it. Let's go talk what to this talking place. about? <laughs> when are you looking to be the Lord of uh, <laughs> Midnight? <laughs> Dude, check this shit out. Let's, uh, let's see what we can do. No, all right, a, I guess. A, that's... Is that a good idea? I mean, We're going to look? Do we so want to just closer? open up diplomatic relations? We'll like, open hey. some diplomatic re relations. <laughs> 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 fucking go. <laughs> BB boys. <laughs> BB boys. Let's go. BB we can be. Like, hey, come here often. Kind of thing. Like, what's the uh, what's the opening line here? Uh, I think the opening line in this situation is you pull your dick out and point. <laughs> oh, you are so you are in a lot of trouble. Taking care of those <laughs> ships. <laughs> oh God, that's a quick yeah. way to get. It's been there. a while since I've seen a woman, but uh, I think that's how it goes, right? <laughs> Dude, we've been like together. The first NPC we ran into together was a woman. Like, what are you? It's, uh... We're in like a crowded metropolitan area. What are you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like you've been on a ship for the past 13 years. We're, we've been hanging out for like weeks. Well. Crazy man. We have a son. We're we have a son, life true. together, man. We are starting life together, it's true. I can't be so barbaric. <laughs> you just show... Get it together, man. You, you just, just show be... our son what what the positive role models are. <laughs> civil people. Okay. So we, um... Are we staying or going? <laughs> We're going. <laughs> Gleesa, uh, wait, 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 keep wait. In your What pants. are we approaching for? That we just want to say hi. Just this to is, this mingle. Yeah, this is a Gleason lead. This is this is your you 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 gotta you gotta head this one up. Okay. Okay. If okay. you don't want her to get a read on you immediately, you might want to consider an eye patch. <laughs> an eye patch. I'm gonna go hang up by the punch bowl. <laughs> <laughs> you guys right. deal with this one. Dragon's not coming to do for clarity. That diplomacy. was coming from. The man in the porcelain mask. Who was that? We know. It's not startling anymore. It's, yeah, it's not a surprise when he shows up. I'm just going to deal with the situation. I'll we be at the punch bowl. He's always part of the conversation. <laughs> yeah, until he actually shows up. I asked the man in the porcelain mask which way is the punch bowl. What? I'm so just going to. Uh, uh, you're unhelpful. You I'm just going to head out totally and find it. bailed on sledding. That's That was. Come on, man. Yeah, what the hell? I've been busy. Dragon threw an axe at a guy thinking it was you. No, 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 I, I didn't did. throw the axe. No, I meant we... it was it was wildly out of character for Star Trek. That's why I had to hit him with my axe plus sled <laughs> plus body. He specified no rules. rules. No rules. I walk no away rules. heading to the punch bowl in whatever direction it is, screaming no rules over and over again. <laughs> Thank you, Dragon. Um, so Vizier, do you think we should go and get a chit chat? Totally your choice. Re remember that she is one of the. Leaders of the conflict that is happening. So, at some point, you're going to need to pick, make a choice. Go yeah, learn oh, what choice true. you're making. 
I guess so. We go Gotta know who her. we're gonna vote for. That being said, <laughs> unless you want her to immediately know who you are and that you're working for me, um, his eye will be a bit of a tell. Well, he's gone away. He's on. He's off to the punch bowl. We'll keep an eye on him. <laughs> yeah, we'll keep oh, him. We'll keep brother. him. I scream, I scream <laughs> at a distance. I scream from a distance. Nice one, bro. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we'll go and introduce ourselves, and we'll we'll ask her what her get a read, uh, get a read, I guess. Who's she but fighting I, like, again? We'll have... I've already forgotten. The courts. <laughs> All of just them. in general. <laughs> yes. Okay. Time out. I'm probably just gonna cut you asking her that because that's sort of pivotal and was like from two days ago. Oh yeah, I yeah, I, um... I guess I meant uh, who's who's on the boats right now. Oh, okay. Is more who like. Who are these people? Where are they coming from? Okay, um, but for a moment, I am, like, I am just going to do the quick... actually fighting? <laughs> I'm going to do the quick, like, what is the big conflict? Do you guys actually remember what the big conflict is? I just heard parts of it. She's fighting it's, the court this... to become a real court or something. No. Or trying to dissolve no, the old no, court No, no, she's trying to get rid... Like, yeah. yeah. You're not entirely sure why, but you know that she has taken a gripe with it, and you know yeah, that, yeah, yeah. like, she is currently attempting to pretty much destabilize the universe. Yeah. For better or worse, you don't really know. We, we should ask her why she wants to do that. Okay. Out of the gate. To, That's a bold move. To answer your more direct question, um, the people on the boat are the Ferocian Reclamation Force. Who's them? They, they were the people here before before this court like just sort of shoved itself into oh, the sovereignty right, of the right, world. Oh, right, 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 right. They're the old, they're the old hot shots of the uh, of the area. And I don't know where they where were they headed up. Do we know, Vizier? Where were they like holed up? A little bit of everywhere. Wherever they had sympathies. Right now they're coming from, and he uh, like just does a little like reference math in his head. Uh, mostly Luxaturna, but also the islands near Whirl. And it seems like they have the backing of the navy. Yeah, it does. It does seem like. Did that. we ever figure out where Sadrak's brother is? Because wasn't didn't he come here and then we've never been able to find him? Well, you know that he was going to a different city. Oh, okay, gotcha. So, yeah. like, you know, he's passed through here, presumably okay. on his way there, but you don't know what happened past that. Gotcha. We can ask around. That's true. Yeah. All right. Let's see what happens. All right. Let's. Let's uh, let's, get, let's, let's uh, go mingle. Let's go say Son, hello. you want to come with us, or do you want to head over with Papa? Pops. No, I'm Pops. He's he's father. Yeah, I'm father. <sighs> Damn. Come on, Dad. Get it together. <laughs> <laughs> I come back with a uh, cup of punch to have this conversation. I can hang with Father. Did you, how did you even... Okay. Because uh, we have a bad habit of making things get a little uh, hairier than uh, they need to be. It's okay. So let's go do a thing. And uh, he, let's he go tucks do a thing. And sleeve. Let's go get punch. <laughs> okay. Yeah, get the boy a glass. We're get gonna go okay. apple juice. <laughs> so diplomatic. So relations. you're splitting up. Um, who wants to do their scene first? I can do mine. Okay. Mine's probably simpler. Probably. <laughs> Let us hop into the conspiracy corner. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. All right, my dude. Let's figure out what you want to do. Uh, so Sun has, like, realized that you're going off to do something, and Gleason and Saldrak are going off to do something important. So it's like, I'm going to go this way. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you want to do today? Let's go get some punch, and then we'll go and watch some, like, street show. Well, it's like a street performer. It'll be great. Nice. Okay. Someone eating fire or some shit. It'd be great. Cool. So, when you say punch, are you just saying, like, something from the bar? Or are you trying to find, like, a punch vendor? Like, find someone that's like, you know what? No, I have tropical fruit today, and this is my theme, so fuck it. That. Okay. But if I can't, any liquid that's red. No, no, no. I'm sure that if you go looking hard enough, you could find someone in this port that is like, yes, I have punch. Right. Now that, that's that's the objective. All right. So that's where I'm looking. 
Cool. Um, I guess roll an I investigation check it. to see how long it takes. Because it's around. It's just like... 15. Um, not bad. All right. So you get it within like 15 minutes mm -hmm. um, and are able to retrieve punch. And Sun has never had punch before. So he's looking at this bright red liquid and is a little wary. Now, Sun, punch, punch makes you strong. Down it, we'll get another one. We just keep going. Nice. That's how men drink. You just keep going. It hurts, and you just keep going. It gets rid of all of the pain. He he nods at you solemnly, not really <laughs> understanding what you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> and then he drinks his punch and is like visibly surprised that it's sweet. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's my that's my that's my lad. Yeah. Get you go. Nice. Uh, Let's go find us a street performer. Cool. Um, so you guys find a whole bunch of different performers. Um, there's a couple that are doing, like, plays. There's a couple that are doing, like, musical sets. And there are jugglers. Go to the musical one for now. All right. Maybe we'll hit up the jugglers on the way out. Nice, nice. Um, so, yeah, you, you, you find some dude. He's got, like, one of those one-man band setups. Nice. And uh, he, he's playing a couple songs you definitely recognize. Um, from various bards that you've heard, like, you know, like some mm -hmm. of the, what would pretty much be the radio top 20 of the mm -hmm. medieval mm -hmm. world. Nice. Um, except, of course, adapted to be played by a one-man band. Mm -hmm. Most of the vocal parts are covered by a kazoo. Of course. Yeah. I would want nothing less. <laughs> um, I would take this man's money that he has on the street right now if he did not. Yeah, well, see, that, that, that's why he is committed to his craft. He's learned from the, his past mistakes, that's for sure. Yeah. You can yeah. tell. He's grown. He's grown as an artist. You know for a fact, this is the same guy you mugged last week. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, I gave him the same lecture earlier. <laughs> you see him just, like, giving you a glare. <laughs> um, like, because he knows who you are. I would hope. Yeah. We had a very long, very long talk. He better remember who I am. Um, I point at his kazoo and I nod. What? I point at his kazoo and nod once we make eye contact. Yeah, he... And we enjoy the show. <laughs> okay, cool, cool. That's it. <laughs> yep. Alright, cool. I don't know how long their scene is going to take, so this might just be it. Alright. Alright, so like, if... Should I just sit in here? Yeah, sure. Um, but what, what right. I'm saying is, um, like... I might come back and we might continue doing a scene, or they might come find you. All right. So we'll we'll find out. Right. In either case, I'll let you know. Sounds good. Have fun, I guess. I'll do my best. Hey, buddy. What up? Okay, so Dragon has run off with Sun to go enjoy the festivities. <laughs> Wonderful. Fantastic. It is a festival, after all. Um, mm -hmm. So, what are you, what exactly is your plan here? I think we should, like, approach her and say that we're, like, um, you know, pivotal in the prophecy that will alter the course of the world. I don't... Is that really going to be our opening line? No! <laughs> I don't know what we're going to do, though. Uh, do you want to just, like, try and relatively stealthily walk our way, uh, like, work our way through the crowd and just be like, hey... So great. Uh, uh, I, I guess nobody, as far as we can tell, nobody's really allowed to like walk up to her and like shake her hand and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, what's right? like the what's it looking like? People are like spreading out uh, like away from her, right? Reflexively, you see that she is like interacting with people pretty quickly, but like when you see an entourage coming, you sort of step out of the way. Okay. Um, if you're looking through your uh, thing every once in a while, you do see that the the tall, lanky guy, um, sort of like darts off every once in a while. Um, you you, don't, you kind of keep losing track of where he is. So you're not entirely sure if he's, like, more of a gopher or whether he's, uh, like, running security. But, like... Got it. You do notice that he's not always with their group. But, yeah, it seems like people are talking with her and interacting and generally, like, she's... This is very much a PR day for her. Yeah, I can see that. Look at her go. So let's let's approach her. Um, 
I don't know, like maybe maybe we maybe we hold back for this for this one. Maybe we want to play a little tighter, a little closer to our chest. We we get the chance to watch her. Do we want to get up kind of close though? Yeah, let's see that. Let's get up close. Let's okay. watch her at work. Sh like she'll, I'm figuring close enough so that she can pass by, but we don't need to necessarily interact with her. Okay. Yeah. And if so we, like, if, you, if if it strikes you in the moment, go ahead and say something. But let's just get near. Sounds good. Yeah. What and are I'm you wearing? We kinda... And do you have your equipment with you? All of our equipment militarized with like armor, but covered in cloaks. Cloaks, cloaks are all a good cloaked idea. up. Yeah, we're all we're all hidden under cloaks. We're just but very we're fat men, just big dudes, <laughs> big dragon and a big human, okay. and some big cloaks. Um, so you approach, um, and then uh, as you get about within, let's say, a hundred and fifty feet of her. Um, there is a light gust of wind, and then um, a, a hand lands on both of your shoulders, just being like, howdy, folks. I think we were made. Turn around and see who it is. <laughs> uh, it's the lanky dude from yep. the entourage. Yep. Hey, man. Not, not terrorists. Yes. That's definitely not what we not. are. We're definitely not. Right, because if you were terrorists, you'd tell me. Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> uh, go, Gleason. <laughs> great well, uh, start. <laughs> Don't see you coming up with any great ideas. Care to explain no. why you're to open up... armed to the teeth and hiding it? There's going to be a war. I'll be it. Then go hang out with the militia. Well, no, because we don't want to be part of the war. We just want to be ready in case it comes this way. Yeah, we want to watch her. Is this really un... You know, un... What's the word? Common? Is this not... Uh, uncommon, yeah. Like... Not exclusively, but when I see two uh, folks of your... He looks up at you. Stature. It uh, rings some alarm bells. That's fair. We definitely just want to... Um, See, see the. It's not every day that there's a lady of a court that shows up in a town and is interacting with people. We we're, just. We're, all right, this is gonna sound bad, but we just interested. happen to be armed while doing it. <laughs> we're interested parties. We want maybe even to speak with her. All right. Well, you're welcome to do that. Um, just know, if you try anything, it's not gonna go your way. Right, we we trust you. You're are, you're already keeping an eye on us. We won't do anything spooky. Cool. Then he's gone. All right, okay. Cool. Can we? And by the way, for the, for the record, uh, I need to be on hold for a sec. Jess is calling. Sure. Okay. I'm going What's to. For the record, no. um, that that's gonna matter. So I'm gonna actually going to hop into oh. the conspiracy corner for a sec to tell to ask is Tom, Tom a question. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> you just hanging out with son. Yep. Hey, question for you. Mm -hmm. When uh, you know that the lady is gonna like start like flexing her magic muscles, are you are you going to try and be in line of sight, or do you just not care and you're just enjoying the festival with sun? How destructive is she being? You don't know yet. You you you, uh, you, you can just kind of get a sense that like oh the thing's about to start. If it doesn't seem like a danger thing, but more like a flex, then I probably would avoid it. But, like, if it seems dangerous, I, I would rejoin the beefy boys. Okay, so. so when shit actually hits the fan, I'll tip it. Yeah, off. yeah. Sounds good. All right, cool. All right, cool. All right. Uh, I'm back. All right, uh. cool. So, so am I. Um, so okay. I was saying, just so, just so you know, his vanish is very different from what you've gotten used to with uh, the men in porcelain mask. mask. Like, he... Like, what's it like? He doesn't disappear. As far as you can tell, he runs off. Whoa. And you just... He, like, walks away and then is gone? <laughs> yeah, no, you, you lose track of him with your eyes. He is fast. Ah. Speedy. Alright, well, <laughs> time to go prove we're not terrorists. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, so, it's... Probably a little before 1 p.m. Are you going to walk up to her before she does her thing? Uh, I assume we can kind of figure out where she's going. Yeah, absolutely. And be in front of her. Uh, yeah, and we're 
part of the crowd. I, I, my preferred place would be in front, like kind of close to the front of the crowd. That's going to be next to where she's going to be. So like gotcha. she'll walk by us, but definitely be past us, but we'll still be close enough to be close to whatever she's going to do. Okay. Um, so strike of one happens. Um, if you're just like letting her do her thing, um, it's one o'clock. Uh, the ships are about five miles out. Um, and you uh, see her just like give a little like one moment uh, gesture to the person that she was talking to. Um, and then looks out to the ships, um, touches her throat and like gestures forward. Um, and then she just begins to speak normally and you can hear her voice. Um, what? But there, you also hear it echoing out from over the water. Like, it is being, like, PA system projected onto their ships. Ooh. Um, What'd she say? And she says, You have come within five miles of the Court of Midnight's territory. I understand that you feel that you have been slighted, but if you come any further, you will not be welcome here. Please turn around in the next ten minutes, or be destroyed. Ooh, ten minutes. So generous. And then uh, she like does a, a little gesture uh, to presumably end the spell, and uh, uh, goes back to what she was talking with, presumably with like the mayor. Interesting. All right. Uh, All right. Do we want to get a little closer and try talking to her? Yeah, let's get in the water. No, yeah, let's get closer. Let's swim to the water. No. <laughs> let's swim to the boats and talk to them about it, see what they have to say. Okay, right. I'm guessing we kind of try and like, yeah. do our best to slide through the crowd it, a little bit. And get a little no one's closer. really trying to stop you, because like people are nervous enough that if someone of your stature tries to push past them, they will not say no. True, got it. Yeah. Um, so you, you pretty much just walk up to her. And uh, she, like, looks at you and nods to, like, be like, I recognize that you're there. And then finishes what she's saying to the person she's talking to. Um, okay. And then comes back to you. He's like, hello, can I help you? Yes, my lady. We are interested parties. Um, we're just, we just came to let you know that we're very interested in seeing what you have to do here today. She sort of like looks a little like taken aback just by your phrasing, and is like, "Good to know. Who are you?" My name is Saudrak of the House Orn Snod, and this is my traveling companion, Gleason, co-father. Co-father. <laughs> it's tis a pleasure. It's not very often the that you. The uh, pleasure is all ours. It's not very often that you hear of another court being court being established these days understandable it is usually uh there's a little more uh hesitancy <laughs> yeah. okay actually so something i totally forgot to even mention but as you've gotten close enough so like probably starting about a hundred feet back or so and getting significantly more as you get closer you can feel just magic coming off of her Fantastic. like you, you could definitely feel like oh okay this is something um, <laughs> ah, I get it. <laughs> yeah. Notably, <laughs> yep. having met Lou and the Night of Winter, they didn't do that. So you don't know whether this is because she's, like, flexing, or if it's because, like, this is just an entirely another tier. Right, right, oh, right. But, like, the, you, you, you've definitely, like, you can feel it. <laughs> Phew. All right, anyway, so did you have anything else to say to her? Yeah, what were you saying, Gleason? That was uh, a very diplomatic way to say why you up in this court. Yeah, I was basically just saying it's not very often that you see another court trying to be established and, you know, make some illusion as to, like, usually they get snuffed out pretty quick. It's great to say, I guess it's uh, interesting to see that you guys are thriving. <laughs> yes. yes, well, you'll see that uh, we certainly have the might to stick around. Also, the existing courts... They're a mess. They have tied themselves up in knots with various deals and contracts and treaties, and 
as a result, they're pretty much ineffective. Ah. And so what's your solution? It's, well, don't have them be a thing anymore. So would and it just be one it? court? No, it would be no courts, presumably. Or at least so nothing officially. Fair it's the end game for your own court, to dissolve after the other courts are destroyed? Well, I mean, my court right now isn't even anything official. I don't have any cosmic underlying root. It's just that I have a fair amount of power, and people decide to follow me based on it. Reasonable. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Very interesting. Very interesting. Uh, Nick, have there do would I know of any other like court uprisings in the past? No, due to my extensive history knowledge. Um, you you could roll religion and see if you know anything about okay. the about that type of thing. Let's give it a shot. Sure. Thirteen. Nah. Okay. Um, you know that there is a myth about someone named Mother Dust that tried to create a court that eventually got rolled up into the Court of Autumn. Um, but you don't necessarily know if that was even real, and if it was exactly how it went. It's just like, there is a story about Mother Dust. Okay, Mother Dust, something along the courts, Autumn yeah. sucked her in. Yeah. <laughs> um. Alright, let's, let's use that then. Uh, is there any concern about getting wrapped up with the other courts, much like uh, Mother Dust? Once again, she looks a little surprised. You are very well read. Eh, it happens. Um, in a monastery. Could you roll a perception check real quick, Gleason? 20. Not natural. Okay. She just scanned you. You're not entirely sure with exactly what, but she just cast a spell with... No visual or no verbal or somatic component, um, and to presumably check if you were fae. Nope, just yeah. smart. <laughs> right, right, right. But like <laughs> that, that did just happen, and you noticed it. No, yeah, yeah. I know. I, I, I pick up on it and say, nope, just good. Uh, <laughs> fascinating. Um, frankly, no, I, I don't worry too much about that happening because I don't think that they can, and if they could, they would have already. Fair enough. Fair enough. Do you know of any uh, Dragonborn that have been coming through? Uh, total tangent. Have you known of any Dragonborn that have come through here in the last couple months? Um, I've met a few, but nothing of... And then she like looks up at the clock real quick and goes, I need to take care of, like, one last thing before this happens. If you need to reach me, you can either try to talk to me before I leave today, or you can meet me at the Capitol, I'm sure. Um, she pauses for a moment, and then uh, with a flick of her hand creates a piece of parchment um, with uh, the symbol of uh, the country and her signature on it real quick. It goes, Hand this to the guards, they'll take you to me if you get to the capital. Fantastic, m'lady. Um, Thank you for your time. No trouble. And then she, uh, like, uh, pulls over the tall man real quick and uh, is... Uh, and you can hear her asking about, like, have you seen... And then a whole bunch of names that you don't recognize. It's like, well, who said that I was going to do this before that? Like, this whole time, same sort of thing. Soudrak, anything else? I think I'm all set. All right. What's... Uh, stand back and watch the fireworks. Let's do that. All right. Um, so you step back of your own volition um, as the ten minutes wrap up, um, and these ships have not turned around. Either they think she's bluffing or, like, don't care. Um, she uh, does turn around and goes, if everyone could step back about 20 feet or so. Uh, there isn't much blowback, but I'd rather be safe. Um, and so people, like, create the ring around her, <laughs> and, um, you feel another little, like, ripple in her magic, because, again, you're, you're close enough that you can just feel her aura. Um, and you see her, like, 
reach out as if she's trying to pick up one of the boats as if it was like actually the size that it looks like on the horizon and then just twist her hand and the boat turns into a huge stone elemental which lunges at a second ship and sinks them both whoa Nice. And I'm going to, <laughs> I'm going to uh, call Tom back because you would probably hear the loud crunching sounds. <laughs> One sec. He's going to be like, nah, I'm good. I'll be here with Sun. <laughs> hey. Hello. Hi. So you hear um, a whole bunch of gasps and what sounds like a whole bunch of stone crunching into wood from pretty far away. Do you go outside to like look at the docks? Yeah. Okay, hop onto the set. Well, that's interesting. Very, very interesting. So she's gonna wipe out the Fey. Not the, not the Fey, just the cords. The cord, not the Fey, just the cords. Yep. Just the cords. I don't know, man. I don't know. Yeah, I'm like, I don't know. Is that really a good idea? Or... Okay. Sure sounds bad in here, gentlemen. Um, it's uh, spooky. So it's it's a wild. Time. You you arrive to the dock just in time to see what appears to be like a huge stone elemental dragging one of the five or I guess four ships on the horizon into the ocean. Um, well then, and then uh, the two who can actually see the lady directly sees her like make a claw and like drag from like up and above her to like a cross and a big diagonal like swipe and comets just flurry out of the sky and are smashing into and exploding on the remaining three ships which are like falling apart and on fire what did you guys Shit. do <laughs> what did we do what the f look at this woman well hey dragon <laughs> how's it going has interrupted some bad. family sun time. Can you uh, your nonsense. Tilt, tilt your hat down over your eye really quick? <laughs> uh, hat. Interesting observation. I give him my sombrero. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> the sombrero bre battle readiness, okay. of course. Um, you, you then see her like cast like three other spells in quick succession. Not at nearly as flashy, but like you could feel like the direction of the wind change a little bit. You could see the way that the waves are angled change. Um, and then she turns to the lanky man that pulled you aside and then is like, um, Rashid, stay in town for a few hours and contact the survivors after, let's say, four hours. No one else has to die if they will leave us to our business. And um, she, uh, uh, wait, sorry, then says, they'll be going to that island. And she points to an island that all the wind and the tides are now pointed at. Fantastic. And then she uh, gets ready to go. It's like, it's been a pleasure. Thank you for hosting me, Helof. It has been uh, nice to see your culture and your food. And I appreciate you throwing this festival for me. What a nice lady. Yeehaw. And then she uh, does a, a, a little like flourish and a bow and then just winks out of existence. And I cast Not... prestidigitation. <laughs> <laughs> Give her a little razzle dazzle on the way. <laughs> oh, same. <laughs> we prestidig some some spark We give her a, a flurry, a yeah. little uh, a little pizzazz. Like little <laughs> yeah, so you, like you do that, and you see Rashid just trying not to lose his shit. <laughs> like, that is so funny. <laughs> 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 like everyone else nice. is just like what oh my god and we're just, <laughs> yeah, like, yeah they're like digging hilarious. it and we're like a couple of wizards under a giant cloak <laughs> <laughs> that's hilarious all right okay all right so we... let's go meet back up with dragon <laughs> yeah you you like turn a corner and see him with sun uh, sun is riding on your shoulders if that's okay dragon of course. All right. It's where he belongs. Yeah, it's it's a big crowd, and he doesn't want to get lost. A king belongs on his throne. <laughs> <laughs> Dragon, the throne. <laughs> so yeah, they, 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 the sturdiest chair. They come out of an alley, and sun waves. 
absolutely spectacular. What a performance. Honestly, quite quite amusing. That was All fucking right. crazy. That was fucking nuts, dude. Did you it see that? Crazy. She crazy. So the whole fucking fleet. Golems and comets. I mean, I kind of figured she'd do it, but holy shit, man, she really did it. <laughs> she went for it. It's crazy. I was figuring Pretty. she'd just, like, you know, pillar of fire or just, like, blow him up or something. Not fucking space rocks. Whew. Good luck, Quartz. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, damn. Dragon, son, what have you guys been up to? Going to the punch place, and then we went and saw some guy do some music. He it played a kazoo. Uh, he fucking has to play the kazoo. It was great. He has to? Or he Has does. to. Or we'll have problems, like we did earlier. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I take back my sombrero. <laughs> and I just want it to be henceforth known that I, he's pretty much always wearing that sombrero because that's what gives him a plus one to initiative. Right, so right. He's always he's in armor, battle ready. Like, I'm in my big cloak, but he's got a yeah, sombrero. Yeah, when you were describing, like, my gear and a cloak, that I, I was including the sombrero in that. God, what a, what a, what a, priceless, a priceless gift. Anyway... Um, you see, what, what do we do now, guys? Um, <laughs> the uh, the half orc woman, like, because the rest of her entourage didn't teleport. Right, right, yeah. right. Um, and, and like the mayor and the provisional governor seem to be like going off somewhere, um, like just together. But the the and Rashid is just like leaning up against a cart eating an apple. Um, but oh boy. the uh, the half orc woman is sort of like eyeing you up as like, who are these three? <laughs> <laughs> uh, we Dragon, go... we might end up talking with some of these people, and if they see your okay. eye, it might be bad news. Guess and get more punch. <laughs> you <laughs> could also wear an just eye wear punch, it like that. <laughs> <laughs> Just cover it. <laughs> just hang out with us. <laughs> I want to. You douche. Uh, I can see the future <laughs> with this thing. It's pretty neat. He, he uh, um, son, sort of like leans around your corner and goes, uh, father, um, cl close your eye and sort of like taps on your cheek. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I do just that. Okay. The little, um, the little brush you, of an son. angel. He, uh, he, he drags a finger over it <laughs> and, um, a fake scar appears. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> For My you, man. son, I will do whatever it is that you need. It looks cool. Right. I know. Yeah, it, it, does. it does. Because you want to know why, son? Why? I touch him in the chest because you did it. <laughs> <laughs> you see him smile. Our boy! And I tussle his hair and I beat up with the other three. <laughs> see, whatever, falls whatever to his knees. <laughs> Shocked! That was precious. Gleason's All right, let's go. Shook. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, give the half after that whole, you know, stands back up, dusts himself off, waves at the half orc lady since she's still giving us the evil eye. I'm guessing. Yeah, like she's just sort of like checking you out. Like she, she hasn't like necessarily been like super suspicious. Just like there is clear, like there are three very large men. <laughs> <laughs> Two of them were talking to the lady, and a third one just appeared <laughs> with a very suspicious child. <laughs> Yo, that child is... He's peach. not suspicious at all. I mean, he's clearly half fat. That, that That's awesome. all that she's going off of. Wait a minute. That kid is half fat. <laughs> I mean, he's half something with birds. Huh. Just half bird. He it's comes from my loins. <laughs> he comes from my loins and his loins and his loins combined <laughs> in a weird tube thing. No. <laughs> his dad fucked a human-sized raven. It was, nothing it was a really <laughs> nasty, nasty experience. His dads all at once. <laughs> <laughs> there couldn't have been more cum on this raven. Is what I'm trying to say. Jesus Christ! Turn it off. <laughs> this is way off the rail. <laughs> I'm very tired. <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking insane, dude. Uh, Dragon, oh my we'll god, always, what is going on? We'll always have that night, but we gotta move on. <laughs> <laughs> Slow extreme minute. That's all that matters. <laughs> Just accept what happened. 
Uh, all right, I oh totally my lost my train of thought. Uh, oh, what right, half orc on? lady. Yeah, I definitely oh, yeah. like wave at her, her like, phone. "Hey, you've been keeping an eye on us." Like friendly wave, <laughs> friendly half sarcastic wave. Like, yeah, we're here. <laughs> the fuck are you looking at? <laughs> um, she sort of walks up to you and goes, "It seems you've already met the rest of the." Uh, Entourage, so I thought I should introduce myself. Nice to meet you. What's your name? Corrigan. Also, really quick, Corrigan. Corrigan. Nice. Gleason, Corrigan. How tall is she in person? Taller than Soudrak? Six foot five. So, what like, a little shorter, a little a taller little than Dragon, I think. If I remember correctly. I don't know how much character. I, what? No I fucking love our, our obsession with the character <laughs> Wait, See, I assumed funny. that you guys would know how tall you are, considering how big a deal you made out of it. So I, I only wrote down these too. guys' heights. I'm oh just real God. big, I don't know. I am I know that I'm about 6'3", Soudrak's about 7 feet tall. He's 6'10". Oh, okay, yeah, about 7 feet tall. Yeah. So he's yeah. like, and Dragon was somewhere in between there. Taller than me, but shorter than Soudrak. Yeah. Sounds about okay, right. So he, Corgan is probably eye to eye with Dragon. Hell yeah, okay. Is that your thing, man? We're so beefy. Just, I just like because Nick made it a point at how fucking tall she is. How tall she was? Yeah. yeah. Well, oh, no and, one's taller than old Sally Drag. For reference, the lady was six foot two. Okay. Got it. Gotcha. Oh wow. So a little thing. She's just a tiny little thing. Oh. <laughs> I mean, she certainly didn't have the beef that Corrigan here does. <laughs> Doesn't have the beef that these boys do when we all pose. The pose you <laughs> <kind of thing. laughs> <laughs> That's right, boys. I'm practicing. It finally happened. <laughs> All that hard work. That hard work paid off. <laughs> this is why we needed the second room. I, like that. That rent really paid off. I gotta say, <laughs> really did. Yeah. Really did. The poses class. I mean, I was happy to lead voice and movement workshops for you guys, but you know, I really it was great to watch you grow as, uh, as physical artists. You know what I mean? I just, I, I do know what you really mean because I feel like, I feel like we really. I mean, this moment right here just proves it. That's what I feel like. You know, yeah, our relationship yeah. is really developing. Corgan, I'm, just... I'm warning you right now. This is how all of our conversations go. <laughs> You're certainly a strange bunch. Eh, adventures are weird. Oh wait, I forgot you were still here. <laughs> Who? Who's here? Corgan. Who? What? The so... half orc woman. Who could that be? <laughs> <laughs> Do you actually not know? Or no, just no, 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 no. Okay, no. cool, cool. <laughs> I, yeah. <laughs> All right. So. So so what's so, up, Corey? How, uh, how been... What's uh what's the lowdown with you guys? Like the a... lady has a fair amount of. Go ahead. Champions, I guess, for lack of a better word. Hmm. Okay. Like a uh, knights, like the whole. Sure. If if we were to go off the existing court system, like. I guess that's as adequate as you could expect. Gotcha, gotcha. And, uh... <clears throat> um, Go ahead. for the record, this is probably the first time you've seen a half-orc. Oh, okay, fair enough. But, like, we're... I'm not racist. I don't really care. No, no, it's just, like, that's... <laughs> that's different, because orcs are not a mortal race. They're, uh, pretty much rage-based fey. Oh, yeah, that would be weird. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, yeah. continue as you're going. It's just that seems like something that would probably be a little bit on your mind. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Soudrax and Iguana, so who cares? Oh, yeah, I don't know. I'm not saying you'd make a big deal out of it. Just like, yeah, I yeah, realize yeah. that you guys probably don't remember the session notes we had from the first game. <laughs> Wait, were those... Did we run into orcs? No. No, those are goblins. No, no, I was just saying, like, when I gave you the... Uh, like setting details. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. There we go. I'm. There we go. Okay. Yeah, I follow yeah, now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I remember. <laughs> All right. Okay. Oh yeah, Corrigan. <laughs> Is there a uh, Lord of Midnight as of yet? No. Any plans for one? No. Uh, Just gonna have, nip that about, in the bud, huh? <laughs> how about? How yeah. about you? How about you, Corrigan? What are you up to? 
<laughs> she she looks you over and goes, eh. <laughs> I get up at dawn to wrestle. I'll be I'll be at the docks if you want to meet me. Oiled up and ready to go. <laughs> I do it nude. <laughs> I walk away. She seems like slightly bemused by that. Like it's like oh, all right, maybe. <laughs> Nailed this. <laughs> I'm so proud of you, bro. I give him a low five. <laughs> Thanks, bro. I'm trying to get a mom for a kid, you know? Just throw something else in the mix. Cedric's got that fire game. <laughs> sparkle, sparkle. <laughs> and what about, uh... What what, what was that? What was the guy's name? Rashid. Rashid's. What about Rashid? Uh, what's his deal? He seems to be, uh... I mean, he's single, if that's what you're asking. That's... <laughs> <laughs> I go over and shoot the shit with Rashid. <laughs> that was what this conversation literally was until this minute. <laughs> oh yeah, no, I guess the the phrasing on that would immediately yeah jump over. Yeah. I I guess I meant more. What's his deal? Is he just uh super speedy people or? Oh, he's um, <laughs> super speedy. King of the quicklings. King of the quicklings. The quicklings. So he is a speedy people. Yeah, I guess. Literally. I, mean, I come back. I mean, like in the, uh, you know, kind of, kind of ruin the moment for myself. But I do want to hear about the quicklings. What is that? <laughs> wait, wait, wait. So, you, so like, you, you, so let me get this straight. You like set up an exit and like yep. are, are like about like five, ten feet away, and you then hear him it, say yeah, that, and then just exactly turn right, right back around. Yeah. Uh, yep. Yep. Yeah. Amazing. <laughs> yeah. Here we wait. Are. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> Can't resist. <laughs> it's cool, but what? Are, what is a quickling? A uh, quickling's a kind of fae. Oh, fantastic! Oh. And he's the king. It's always the answer. <laughs> yeah, it is um, always the. You, you know, you think I learn? If, if one of you <laughs> wants to roll a, running around, I don't know. If one of you wants to roll at a, a a nature or religion check to see what you know about quicklings, you can. Yeah, I don't know anything about fae. I won't even roll. Uh, you, you might actually know quicklings, Sadrak. Oh, that's true. I spent some time in a, in a place. Okay. Uh, let's wait to see. You rolled religion. Uh, yes. Saldrak can roll nature, so ha- let's see if he gets anything there. Six. Okay. Um, Fifteen. All right, cool. And then a quick um, fail. <laughs> so, uh, Dragon, uh, you know that quicklings are pretty much like tricksters, um, they're, they sort of, like, split the difference between, like, goblins and elves. They're not, like, they're, they're, they're pretty small, um, and move very, very fast, and generally are just, like, the type of thing that, like, are more a, uh, nuisance than a threat, normally. Mm-hmm. Um, but you, Dragon doesn't know why the king would be like this. Um, Gleason, you know that from, like, your lore that you picked up over the years, that the King of the Quicklings is the progenitor of Quicklings. Oh! Was the first. Big Daddy Quickling. Yeah. So he is around the bottom tier of the High Fae, but he is a High Fae. Fantastic. Um, and, like, he's one of those notable Fae that, like, never took a side. Like, he, he's gotcha. not court-bound. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Or wasn't. Maybe he is now. <laughs> Apparently is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but that's why he, like, looks significantly different than what you would normally expect from a quickling. Gotcha. So, King of the Quicklings, huh? That's kind of a big deal. How'd that end up happening? I thought that they didn't... He didn't end up, uh... End up choosing sides. I guess he found what we're fighting for, huh? I mean, yeah. Honestly, I mean, talk to him about it, but my guess is that he is probably taking the side that's trying to get rid of sides. Fair enough. Fair enough. And what about you? What do you see in the Court of Midnight? Lady saved my life. Good enough reason as any. Yeah. All right. Uh, I've got my reservations of her goals, but doesn't matter to me. If she says jump, I say how high. Fair enough. Good soldier. <laughs> she nods at you. All right. So uh, this is our son. Son, by the way. Uh, I'm Gleason. Pleasure. That's Dragon. That's Soudrak. 
Hello. Pleasure to meet you. We're going to take our leave. We've got a room at the uh, Darkened Glass. Two mm -hmm. rooms, tech. One room at the Darkened Glass. <laughs> Uh, and feel free to okay. gamble on the sledding races. Alright. I drop her a room key as we walk away. <laughs> <laughs> she literally doesn't catch it. Nice. Like, it I just, like, lands at her feet. I go back and pick it up. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Alright. All right. Excellent. All right. So, are you gonna try to interact with Rashid, or are you just gonna? Yeah, let's back? go. Let's go see where he's at. Hey, Rashid, nice to meet you. We are the Beefy Boys. How you doing? Hey. Good. Told you we weren't terrorists. Seems you were right. <laughs> Unless you're terrified right now. Nope. So, so, <laughs> so, so, what what draws you to the court of midnight as the king of the quicklings? Yes. He, he looks a little surprised. He goes. Right, she knows. <laughs> it's at uh, um, Corrigan. It's like, um, not much, to be honest. Late, uh, I never really sat well with the whole court business. Still don't. And he's like stretching while he's talking to you. Like, you see him that he's got like this like nervous energy. Oh, okay. Um, but the lady seems to be. Against it as a concept, and <laughs> frankly, if we can tell those assholes uh, to go shove it for a couple thousand years, sounds good to me. Yeah. Yeah, fair enough. And what hey, you... less rules is always good for a trickster. That you, uh, would be you, true. Uh, you li you like her, huh? Who? The the lady. Sure. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. <laughs> Yeah, no, she doesn't swing that way, dude. Uh-huh. Oh. Got it. Got it. Got it. So the mm, okay. Double up on the lady roll. I get ya. <laughs> hmm. Interesting. <laughs> well, I mean, it looks the like that of courts usually aren't related and never mind, that's not the point. What are you saying? <laughs> Yeah, no, we were we were just kind of plotting about being the Lord, but that just got shot dead. That fizzled, that fizzled here and now. I mean, your step one would probably be being a fae. Yep, you're probably right, man. <laughs> <laughs> that would definitely help. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. We're just we we kind of spitball ideas around like that. Think you know what I mean? Couple of gang of schemers us. Us beefy, beefy boys. boys. <laughs> beefy boys. <laughs> Feel free to go bet on the sledding races. <laughs> Please do. <in laughs> They're fact. not rigged in any way. <laughs> hand, them a biz hand them a business card and a hand axe. <laughs> God, <laughs> with, our, <laughs> with our logo scraped into it. <laughs> what am I supposed to do with this? It's, it's like it's got sun's smiling face <laughs> carved into the side. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what's the name of our gambling company? Beefy Boys Gambling Inc. The Esquire, the third. <laughs> the third. Exactly. That's what it says. Established um, five minutes ago. <laughs> today. So you have to keep. You do do it. You 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 have the established yeah, yeah. by minutes ago. So you have to keep scratching it out and writing in a new minutes every every couple of minutes. Established at nine. Nine what? <laughs> A.M. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so we so so we uh we get him at and we tell him to gamble and we and we walk we walk away. <laughs> you guys seem interesting. What are you guys doing? Um, he looks at the clock tower. Round about eight. Uh, yeah. probably drinking. All right. Debauchery. We'll be drunk and gambling and whoring. You know. That's <laughs> a usual eight p.m. for us. Is there <laughs> no thing in this town that seems. Little for the beefy boys, it might racy. be. Uh, it's racy for normal people. <laughs> we like to be in bed by nine, so. So we get in. We, we gotta get, we get, we get the trick and hoarding done by eight, and then we we're uh, we're in the pile by nine. <laughs> we, we cram a whole night of debauchery into an hour. <laughs> <laughs>
We, right, we tuck the boy in at seven, we debauch it at eight, and we're in the pile by nine. It's pretty great. <laughs> All right, well, so here's the thing. I've got this errand to run for the lady, but after that, I've got nothing to do tonight, and they don't expect me back in ta- back in the capital until tomorrow, and I can make that trip in, like, 15 minutes. So, like, if you want to hang, let me know. For sure, right, man. Cool. Where, I don't know if you uh, keep up with us. you guys staying? Uh, stay <laughs> Sorry, did you just ask me if I could keep up? Yeah. Oh, um, <laughs> boys! What a pun! <laughs> he is now behind you with your wallet. I think I'm pretty fast. I don't have a wallet. Is that mine? Oh, couch, Dad. He's holding your testicles. <laughs> <laughs> Those are mine. From from between your legs. <laughs> yeah, the ones that are on the the ones that you hang around your neck. <laughs> He's grabbed them from between your legs behind you. <laughs> No, he just grabs something iconic from your bag, like probably your captain's log. <gasps> iconic. It's very iconic of you to steal. <laughs> you didn't steal such an iconic item that we talk about all the time on this show. <laughs> anyway, so he has that. Like, he, he just pulls the captain's item. log out of your bag. <laughs> Were you the captain of a ship? Not even captain. <laughs> I thought you were just like a guy. <laughs> that was my favorite insert item here. How dare you steal that <laughs> that thing I talk about frequently. <laughs> That's such a pivotal part of my character. <laughs> ah, right, not my hip flask. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever anyway, you do, do not steal. Back to you. Oh, I'm pooping. That's I let it hit me in the chest and fall to the ground. <laughs> okay, the fuck what this is. Do you fuck, really? fuck you, man. <laughs> well, well, all right, all right. Around. He's you're just getting around. He's just spicy. We'll be happy he's... to hang out with you. Where are you guys hanging yeah. out? Where are you guys uh, staying just... tonight? I don't know. These these losers are doing their own thing. So, here, to... I'll, I'll meet you back wherever you're staying. Dark and glass, you said? Dark and yeah. glass, yep. All right, cool. See you tonight. See you. Um, and then uh, you you see him, like, zip off to the edge of town and then go by in the other direction just building up momentum like you can't really see him so much as feel him but you just see this like ripple on the the water as he just zips out off of, into the bay and about uh like a couple hundred feet out to the water you hear like what you the player would know as a sonic boom but otherwise would just be an explosion <laughs> Holy what the shit. fuck? <laughs> that was quite the boom. That's uh, he that's fast. The boom. <laughs> Asking if he could keep up. <laughs> <laughs> that was a that was a bold choice. It clearly Some couldn't. To, it clearly uh, couldn't. Ha! Damn. This it's is just a huge, a huge, huge punk. This one. This can be wild. All right. Yeah. So what do you do between now and eight? I assume you tuck in sun at some point. You tuck in sun. And we what go right to debauchery. It's like two. He gets tucked right, in. Gonna, it's debauchery I'm for hours. Get, I'm going to get six hours of pistoling in. <laughs> okay. I'm cool. going to get uh, six get hours of getting wicked pissed in. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I guess I'll go. Dragon sweating. is just absolutely plastered. <laughs> um, actually, you know what? Yeah, Dragon, roll me a D percent. Okay. Amen. What do I do? 100? Yeah. Is that how the system works? Nope, that's not roll, though. Game, come on. You need slash roll. Yeah, Can't yeah, you yeah. just read my mind? 87. Alright, let's see if this is reasonable to do at this time of day. Um, okay. We know you it's You are <laughs> very drunk. Um, so you... As it's approaching, like, 6 or 7... Um, Actually, first let's talk about what Gleason does. Gleason, what do you do? Uh, I'm gonna go sledding with Sun. More. That sounds wonderful. Okay. Wholesome. So you're talking. You're you're help, helping him wrap up at the night at like six or seven, um, and then you're like, where the fuck is Drake? <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Um, we haven't been watching him. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, you you pull over Soundtrack. And you're like, D- we need to find him. <laughs> like before before the end of the night. Like we should probably get some idea of where he went. I like, don't... he was in the dark and glass last we checked. He was drunk. Where'd he go? <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go look around. All right, so you uh, 
you you find him passed out on the front steps of the the mayor's house, yes. wearing war paint and a bandana, and absolutely no pants. <laughs> and, and and you see that a treatise of radical political and religious <laughs> ideologies oh has been God. nailed to the door. <laughs> Yeah, man. Dude, wait, can I just... Right I'm going to grab my easel and paint this to complete my collection. <laughs> I've got one of myself. Once we get Gleason in a compromising position, we'll have the full collection. So I'm just going to quick paint this out real cool. fast. So just Roll give me like... a charisma check. Okay, hold up. Give me like four hours. I'm just going to paint this real quick. <laughs> charisma... Charisma, a six a theme. Gotcha. Okay, um, you you're an adequate painter. Nice. Um, do you try to get it done before eight? You know what? I will sketch it out and flesh it out later. Okay. Art waits cool. waits for no man. Take your time. All right, I'll take my time. the The skinny man can wait. Okay. He said he'd find us anyway. I craft a good fucking painting. So now okay. I can add next to my painting of Soudrak naked and hungover, <laughs> painting of Dragon <laughs> naked. Pantsless and war painted a bandana. <laughs> Carl marks in it up. <laughs> All right. Um, so at eight o two, there is a gust of wind, and Rashid is there. And it's like, I should have known better than to expect party people to still be at the bar. Yep. What yeah. were you thinking? Well, we well, have... This is literally already yet. passed out. <laughs> <laughs> I get up. So, the bar I'm keeps just... with us. Keep it going. And we, Rishi uh, uh, le leans into the two of you that are still conscious and is like, So, I've got a prank war with Baba Yaga to win. You want in? Baba oh, yeah. fucking Yaga? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you know we want in on that, that shit. Bitch. Sun sleeps alone in the double-wide bedroom. Peacefully, he dreams, bathed in moonlight pouring in from the window. Silently, the moonlit vizier arrives, his teleportation spell hidden by his magic. He looks around the room and sighs. <sighs> I leave them alone for an hour, and they disappear, he wonders aloud, looking for some clue. Where the hell did they run off to? To which a massive figure lurking in the shadow replies, I was just wondering the same thing. <laughs>